In this video, we focus on markers, black permanent markers, just to keep everything equal here. Uh, we've got three different brands, Bic, Sharpie, and the Pantone pen as well. I'm going to start with the twin tip mark, uh, Sharpie marker, starting with the ultra fine point. It has a very fine point. It is not a micro fine point, but it is very fine and it's great for doing fine lines such as this. Not so much meant for shading. If you want to do some shading, you have to do some hatching, create some unidirectional lines, or perhaps cross hatch, stipple, all the ways you usually build up shading. On the other end of this particular marker, I also have a fine tip. Handy to have two tips in one, although you can also get the markers in just plain fine tip or just plain old ultra fine, and of course in a variety of colors as well. This tip is more conical. You can use the point to create fairly fine lines, or you can use the edges to do some quick shading. A lot more coverage and the line weight is a little bit heavier. So that's a handy twin tip with the ultra fine point and fine point. The next one we'll look at is the Pantone marker. This one has also has a kind of a conical tip to it. The felt uh, is also exposed on the edges like the last marker. We can create vertical lines with this one. Uh, very fine looking. The weight is somewhat between the two previous markers that we saw. And again, you can use this side. And you'll notice that this one is quite translucent. It's because it's an older marker and the ink isn't as strong anymore. It's been used up. Um, you'll also notice that I cover the, put the covers back on my markers all the time. It extends their life, keeps them from drying out. This next one is the first of our three chisel tips. The chisel tip having an angle tip. The felt is exposed all the way around, so it's easy to use different parts of the tip, including the point, the sides, and then the flat end. So we'll start with the tip. The more you use the tip, too, of course, the more you wear it down. And the same with these the angled sides. They make very nice crisp lines and if you want to shade cover more area more quickly you use the flat tip. And the beautiful thing about this marker, the chisel tip, is look at how easy it is to vary the line weights just by tilting the angle of the marker. The next one is the king size sharpie. Another chisel tip, just a little bit bigger. Same features, I can use the very tip, I can use the edges, and I can use the end like so for great coverage. And again, very easy to change the line weight by moving the angle that you're holding the marker at. The last one, look at this one, oh my goodness, the Magnum. It is a beauty. It's hard to get the cap off, but once it's off, Look at the size of that marker. Isn't it fantastic? Think of the coverage we can do with this one. So let's try the tip. A little heavier weight than the other ones so far. It's a big mammoth magnum marker. And let's see what we can do with the end. Wow, beautiful coverage with this marker. And again, we can vary the line weights by changing the angle we're holding the marker at. So that is my short story about black permanent markers by Sharpie, Bic, and Pantone. Not an exhaustive list by any means at all, but among my collection of markers. Which ones are your favorites?